Whether to be a solo musician or be part of a band, it's a path all of us musicians have to decide to take one way or another. Some people start with a band but crave for a solo career for various reasons. As you might have seen by the ridiculous video I posted last week, I went solo. That video I posted a week ago might be freaking weird, but I love making some dumb videos and it has been a fun way to promote my bands for years. What's weirder to me is to call myself a quote unquote solo artist, because I don't see myself that way. I started my first band 6 months after I first picked up the guitar and I've been playing in bands ever since for the past 18 years. Even though I've been one of the main songwriters in all of those bands, I enjoy and prefer everything about being in the band. So why the hell did I start something solo? Well, it's something I've been wanting to try for as long as I can remember. To find out who I am as a songwriter and musician without the aid of a band. Not because of any egotistical reason, but the opposite. But the main reason is much more simple. It took some years, but without a doubt reason I made a solo record can be summed up in one word. Fear. And that might sound strange and negative, but to me it really isn't. I'm in my 30s now and I bring some implications as a musician that made me reconsider this whole solo thing. First of all, my bands or myself no longer fit the label Young Talents, which already closes some doors. And this is the age where I've seen a lot of musicians disappear for whatever reason. People get on with their lives, start families and give up on the music thing. When we found out my wife was pregnant last October, that ignited something in me. If I wasn't going to start a solo adventure now, chances would be I would never do it at all. The goal was to have some music that's all my own, so if I would ever find myself without a band that's actively working, I would have this to fall back on. <laughs> From there it was a very difficult ride. I'm a perfectionist that's very self-critical with a bar that's often way too high while also being pretty insecure about my musical abilities. 
Besides that, I really like to collaborate on music. Basically, I was setting myself up for failure. What kind of album should I make anyway? That's why I decided to not take myself nor what I was doing too seriously. That's why the album is called, well, I guess it's something, and be as unpretentious about it as I possibly could. This should be a raw album with whatever kind of songs come out of the process. Just go with the flow, keep it simple, which is not easy for me, but in any other way I would have probably never finished it. Waiting around for the perfect songs, musicians, studio, producer, time and money to do it would only make things way more difficult. So I took the concepts that I had, made some demos in December, started recording in April and finished recording in June. And I did all of it myself besides the drums, organ and artwork. <laughs> That was a teaser for the music video I will release next week, along with the album itself. Even though I chose to make a record that has a vinyl runtime, it will only be available on streaming platforms. The reason being pretty simple, I will not do anything with it for now besides just releasing the album. I am still a band man first though, and currently my main priority and biggest passion is my band Nighthawker, with whom I am also working on a new record. I feel like that's where I make my best music. But somehow this album that I made by myself turned out to be like a collage of all the bands I've been in and I still hope you will check it out. I'd like to know your thoughts on this whole topic so please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you very much for watching and please like, subscribe, hit the bell icon and check out my music video and album next week.